Hi, I'm Simpsess and welcome to PBQ. Today, here with me is our resident pastor, Apostle Desmond Thomas. He's going to be answering some of the questions that you've sent in to me today. So, Pastor, um, we've had some questions in, and one of the questions is, mm. what are some of the do's and don'ts in marriages? Well, as I said, it's a big, it's a big topic, you know, but um, just to, um, thinking about a few that comes to my mind, it's like, um, well, um, for example, if your husband comes home from work, um, wait until he rests, you know, before you start bombarding him <laughs> with some stuff, you know. Um, he may have a hard day and he's home and... Um, don't just punch that punching, you know, at the door. Let him sit down, have a rest, maybe have some meal, and then that's it. And then also one of the things as well that coming to the top of my head, don't sleep over, you know, any problems. It's always good to talk about it before you go to bed. Um, that is good. And it's always good as well to, to support each other um, um, when they're going through difficult situations and circumstances. And one of the things I usually say, what, don't force anything on anyone. Give people time um, to think about stuff and make a decision. You know, there are so many things, you know, so many things, so many do's, so many don'ts. Um, anything in, in your mind? So, as a woman, yeah. if I have a husband who I know to be working and he's providing, that alone is just attractive yeah. <laughs> to, to me. He is the breadwinner. So, what happens when you know? Um, oh, after a while. So, when when if you lose your if the man loses their job, job yeah, um, they no longer they no longer seem like that alpha male, the provider. Yeah. How do how should wives approach this? I think they need to approach it with um, the attitude of support. You know, because every man, you know, wants to provide for their home. And many women, in fact, even complain, this man walks and walks and walks and walks. Because that is what men are made for, to provide, they're provided. And if they find themselves in a situation where they cannot provide, don't talk it to their face. Oh, many women are like that you are not providing for the home, you don't make any decision here. I think that that is like adding salt to a wound. I mean, the man is wounded in the first place, not having a job to provide for his woman, then you tell him in his face, I think that hurts. So, so need to be there. if the woman is the one providing, yes. um, let's think of a scenario, um, you're providing and this man says, oh, I want to go out with my friends, and you, as the woman, <laughs> are paying the bills, feeding yourself and your husband and maybe children, and he asked to go clubbing. <laughs> Do you think he has the right to say something like that? I don't think um, um, a man need to take advantage on the other side, on the other part, especially if the woman is 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 footing all the bills. But let also remember that um, if the man supports the woman, I mean, and our friends to go out when he's providing, then I think if the woman can, I think it it's understandable. Pastor. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, there are a lot of more do's and don'ts. And one of the things um, as well, women are guilty of, some, some women really, uh, nagging. Don't nag your husband. And also, um, women need support and not to be taken advantage of. Um, there are some people, men, who don't understand. Who, the woman's body goes through a lot of changes many times in life, you know, and men need to understand that. So sometimes, you know, men need to be understandable if the woman says no. Um, and not just think about yourself alone. You know, so. um, Paul talks about how when you enter a marriage, your, your body is, belongs to your partner. Exactly. Um, and of course, some people do take advantage, some women, some men take advantage over that and, and feel the need to say, well, well, we must have sex because yes. I want it now, you're my wife, you're my husband and I want it now and sometimes it's not the appropriate time or the person does not feel it with all their heart. Is it right to say no? Well, the Bible tells us that the woman's body belongs to the man and the man's body belongs to the woman and they shouldn't deprive each other 
of sex unless it's um, for a time of prayer and fasting. But I usually say, hey, if the day goes well, then the night is going to go well. <laughs> if during the day you give the, you know, women need to be lured into these things. You know, if during the day, you know, you give her flowers, you give her chocolate, you know, you call her. On, on, I mean, when she's at work, say, hey, I could hardly wait for you to come. Maybe prepare her a bubble bath. She would hardly say no. <laughs> mm, 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 you're right. Yes. I like that answer. You're yeah. very correct. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what should, what happens when a man says no? A mm. lot of women interpret that as, mm. oh, he's getting it from somewhere else. Yeah. Do you think that's true? And um, what should a woman do to make a man actually say yes this time? <laughs> okay. um, you know, man, men also need to be provoked, you know. I mean, the sense that, I mean, when he comes home, you know, just a passionate kiss at the door, maybe wearing, you know, something very provocative, you know, and um, feeding him, you know, give him something nice to eat, you know, and maybe also the same. He said, you worked so hard today. Why don't me give you some kind of a, a massage, you know, and, and a bubble bath, you know, just get him to relax. I think you can get him to do something. Yeah. I heard a line in a film, and um, they basically said you have to you have to have an affair with your partner. <laughs> so it gets to a point where obviously marriage does seem boring because you're yeah. doing the same old routine. Yeah. So everything that you're saying sounds like something that you would do if you were having an affair exactly. with your partner. So Ex the things, yeah, exactly. I like that answer. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. I hope that was very enlightening for you. <laughs> Um, if you have any other questions, please send it into our email, which is prophetic and biblical questions at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. See you.